this is a real problem. So many local school districts are getting creative to keep good teachers in your child's classroom. Decatur City Schools, they want to give teachers an affordable place to live. But a state teacher's rep says that doesn't address the real problem. Channel 2's Courtney Francisco, live now in Decatur. And Courtney, they say it really comes down to not so much a place to live, but a teacher's pay. Right, they say why not increase pay that teachers want to be able to choose where they live, not be grouped into affordable housing complex. Now here's the plan for city schools of Decatur. The district owns this home. It's a single family home and could turn it into an affordable duplex that staff can afford. Think duplexes and multiple rental units. That's what Decatur City Schools wants to transform these houses into to help staff afford to live where they work. I think it says a lot about pay when educators cannot afford to live in that community. It does have a disconnect. Lisa Morgan is a teacher union rep for the Georgia Association of Educators, one of those pushing lawmakers to increase teacher pay statewide, in part so they can have more power to choose where they live. I don't see it getting better over the next few years. So she's not surprised to hear districts like Decatur City Schools getting creative to keep and recruit good teachers. All in favor, please say aye. 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 The Board of passes. Education unanimously approved a measure that allowed the superintendent to apply for two zoning permits to turn these homes on Westchester Drive and McDonough Street into duplexes employees can afford to rent. Cost of housing is so extreme and then you add the educator salary for a lot of them, um, you know, it would be a benefit that they would look on. The superintendent was not available for comment Thursday and the district is still working on a property transition timeline. I would want to look at lawmakers and say, listen about pay, listen about affordable housing. All right, so a lot of listening needs to happen, it sounds like. Channel 2's Courtney Francisco back with us live. So, Courtney, that teacher rep talked about pay, but Decatur City Schools, I mean, they pay more than the state requires them to pay. Yeah, I have the salary scale right here, and City Schools of Decatur pay about $8,000 more than the state required minimum, but that's still about 25% less than other professions with the same amount of college education. All right, Courtney Francisco, live for us on a topic that is very important and so meaningful for so many families and their kids. Courtney, thank you. Let's take a look now, county by county on WSB tonight, at what districts are dealing with. So last month, Hall County told us 91% of their teachers last year returned this year. Cobb County says their number was even higher. Only 2% of teachers did not return for the current school year. And in DeKalb County, they say right now they have 210 openings. That is just 3% of their total positions.